Yes. You wanna come around? You wanna come around here? Three, yes. Yeah. All right. So if you just reach Act 15 on one, and then go back to three again, so we establish the point. Okay. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, "Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved." So they're actually talking to non-Israelites here, and they're saying, "Unless the non-Israelites are circumcised." Well, where it, sorry, where did it say that they're non-Israelites? We're going to show you for the context here, yeah, all phrases. So they're actually talking to non-Israelites. They're saying, "For non-Israelites, unless you're circumcised." Like the manner of Moses, you can't be saved. It's not saying if you're circumcised, you're going to be an Israelite here. It's not the custom for the Jews to, uh, for the Gentiles to become an Israelite that way, right? Read on. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dis dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. So they have to go to the apostles and elders to ask about this question, right? And let's see who this question was related to based upon the apostles and elders' answer. Let's jump down to verse 22. Was it Gentiles or was it Jews being circumcised? Read on. Then pleased did the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, named Barnabas and Silas, chief men among the brethren. So we got Paul, yeah, there's the same one that circumcised Timothy, is being sent by the apostles on a mission. Here's the mission, read on. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and brethren said greeting unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles. So brethren which are of the what? Of the Gentiles. 